Welcome to Sustainable Health Empowerment's Health Education Series. I'm Brandon Willis, a fourth year medical student with St. George's University School of Medicine. This is the second in our four part series on hypertension. Last week, we defined hypertension or high blood pressure. Remember the magic number that we'd like to see? That's right, 120 over 80 or less. This week, we will examine causes and complications of hypertension as well as how to check your own blood pressure. Our objectives for today's episode are to identify causes and risk factors for high blood pressure, identify symptoms of high blood pressure, recognize complications of hypertension, understand how to take a blood pressure reading on yourself or someone else. Let's first look at things that can cause high blood pressure. What causes high blood pressure? Age, medical problems, medication, causes for women, birth control pills, hormone therapy, causes for children, age. Blood pressure tends to rise with age unless you take steps to prevent or control it. Medical problems. Some medical problems such as chronic kidney disease, thyroid disease, and sleep apnea may cause blood pressure to rise. Medication. Some medicines also may raise your blood pressure. Examples include asthma medication, for example, corticosteroids and cold relief products. Causes for women. In some women, blood pressure can rise if they use birth control pills, become pregnant, or take hormone therapy. Birth control pills. Women taking birth control pills usually have a small rise in both systolic and diastolic blood pressures. If you already have high blood pressure and want to use birth control pills, make sure your health care provider knows about your high blood pressure. Talk with him or her about how often you should have your blood pressure checked and how to control it while taking the pill. Hormone therapy. Taking hormones to reduce the symptoms of menopause can cause a small rise in systolic blood pressure. If you already have high blood pressure, and want to start using hormones, talk with your doctor about the risks and benefits. If you decide to take hormones, find out how to control your blood pressure and how often you should have it checked. Causes for children. Children younger than 10 years old who have high blood pressure often have another condition that's causing it, such as kidney disease. Treating the underlying condition may resolve the high blood pressure. The older a child is when high blood pressure is diagnosed, the more likely he or she is to have essential hypertension. This means that doctors don't know what caused the high blood pressure. Now let's explore risk factors for high blood pressure and determine which of these you can lessen through lifestyle changes. Older age and high blood pressure. Blood pressure tends to rise with age. If you are a man older than 45 years, or a woman older than 55 years, you are at increased risk of high blood pressure. High blood pressure doesn't have to be a routine part of aging. You can take steps to keep your blood pressure at normal levels. Overweight or obesity and high blood pressure. Free hypertension or high blood pressure is more likely to develop in people who are overweight or obese. The term overweight and obese refer to body weight that is greater than what is considered healthy for a certain height. Gender and high blood pressure. Men have high blood pressure more often than women in the early and middle adult years due to the protective effect of estrogen for women. However, this fact changes once a woman reaches menopause when levels of estrogen decrease greatly and body weight increases unhealthy lifestyle habits, and high blood pressure. Many unhealthy lifestyle habits can raise your risk for high blood pressure, including eating too much sodium, drinking too much alcohol, not getting enough potassium in your diet, not doing enough physical activity, smoking. Other risk factors for high blood pressure. Other risk factors for high blood pressure include the following factors. A family history of high blood pressure raises your risk for the condition. Long-lasting stress can put you at risk for high blood pressure. You are also more likely to develop high blood pressure if you have pre-hypertension. Pre-hypertension means that your blood pressure is in the 120 to 139 over 80 
to 89 range. Being overweight or obese means that you have a higher chance of having high blood pressure. And decreasing the weight will mean that you have a lessened chance of having high blood pressure. Men are more likely to have high blood pressure in the younger ages, but women are just as likely as men to have high blood pressure after menopause. There are a few things that you can do in your life that can decrease the chance that you'll have high blood pressure, like eating less salt, having a balanced diet, and getting physical activity. There are a few things in your life that you can't change that will increase the likelihood that you have high blood pressure, like a family history of high blood pressure. Being overweight is more and more common in younger people, putting them at risk for high blood pressure and other disorders. If young people are overweight, their blood pressure should be checked regularly, and they should work on losing weight. You might be wondering if there are any signs and symptoms of high blood pressure. Signs and Symptoms of High Blood Pressure High blood pressure itself usually has no signs or symptoms. Rarely headaches may occur. You can have high blood pressure for years without knowing it. During this time, the condition can damage your heart, blood vessels, kidneys, and other parts of your body. Some people only discover they have high blood pressure after there is damage, such as a stroke. Knowing your blood pressure number is important even if you are feeling okay. If your blood pressure is normal, you want to maintain healthy habits to keep it that way. If it's high, you want to work to lower it to avoid health risks. Let's see what we remember of what we have learned. More adult women than adult men have high blood pressure. True. False. If you answered false, you would be correct. What is a rare sign of high blood pressure? Headache, rash, hiccup, hair loss. I think we know the answer. If you answered headache, you would be correct. More than one answer may be correct. Choose all that apply. Which of the following habits can increase your risk for high blood pressure? Drinking too much alcohol. Not doing enough physical activity. Not getting enough sodium in your diet. Smoking. Eating too much citrus fruit. If you answered drinking too much alcohol, not doing enough physical activity, and smoking, you would be correct. If blood pressure stays high over time, it can damage many parts of the body. It can cause narrowing in the arteries, and this can lead to heart attacks, stroke, kidney failure, or amputations. High blood pressure over time in the eyes can lead to burst blood vessels, which can lead to vision problems or blindness. If your blood pressure remains high over time, it can cause your heart to weaken or grow too large, leading to heart failure. It can lead to bulges in your artery walls, known as aneurysms, which, if left untreated, can burst, and it can lead to kidney failure. Other complications are narrowing of the arteries, which limits the blood flow to certain parts of the body that can result in heart attacks, stroke, kidney failure, or even amputations. It can also lead to vision loss or blindness. This shows all the parts of the body that can be affected by high blood pressure, the brain, the eyes, the heart, and the kidneys. High blood pressure is diagnosed using a blood pressure test. The test will be done several times to make sure that the results are correct. If your numbers are high, your health care provider may have you return for repeat tests to check your blood pressure over time. If your blood pressure is 140 over 90 or higher over time, you will likely be diagnosed with high blood pressure. If you have diabetes or chronic kidney disease, Blood pressure measurements of 130 over 80 or higher is considered high blood pressure. Now we will explain the best way to take an accurate blood pressure reading using an automated monitor that you can purchase online or at the store. Please do not buy a wrist cuff as they are not as accurate. Buy one that fits on the upper arm. Be sure not to smoke. Have coffee or do vigorous activity for 30 minutes before taking your blood pressure. Sit in a chair with both feet on the ground. Do not cross your legs and don't talk.
place your hand palm up on a table with a pillow under your arm so that it is at the height or higher than your heart. Relax your arm and take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out slowly through your mouth. Then start the machine. It sometimes helps you to relax to close your eyes. When the machine starts to pump, you will feel some pressure on your arm. Try not to move or react to that. Just relax and let the machine do the work. So today we learned about causes, complications of high blood pressure, as well as how to take an accurate blood pressure reading. Next week we will explore in-depth lifestyle changes that you can make to control or even prevent hypertension. Before we leave, have you set some goals for yourself regarding any of those factors that we discussed that are modifiable, meaning that you can change them? We'll discuss these changes more next week. In the meantime, thank you for tuning in, and be sure to check out this episode and all the episodes in this health series on our YouTube channel at Sustainable Health Empowerment. We'll see you next week. Here's to good health and good habits.